Hello everyone! Today, we're diving into how to use Visual Basic in Visual Studio Code. Before we start, if you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tutorials like this. Let's get into it. First up, open Visual Studio Code on your computer. Now, working with Visual Basic in VS Code is a bit different than traditional .NET environments. First things first, you'll need to have the .NET Core SDK installed on your system, as Visual Basic is part of the .NET ecosystem. After setting up .NET Core, create a new file in VS Code. Go to the top menu, click File, and then New File. Save this file with a .vb extension, indicating it's a Visual Basic file. The next step is to install the necessary extensions for Visual Basic. Open the extensions view in VS Code by clicking the square icon on the sidebar or pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus X. Search for a Visual Basic extension and install it. This will provide you with necessary features like syntax highlighting and IntelliSense specific to Visual Basic. Now you can start writing your Visual Basic code. If you're new to it, try starting with a simple Hello World program to test things out. VS Code's IntelliSense feature will assist you with code completion and syntax suggestions. Remember to save your code frequently. You can do this by pressing Ctrl plus S on Windows and Linux, or Command plus S on macOS. To compile and run your Visual Basic program, you'll use the .NET Core CLI. Open the integrated terminal in VS Code from the top menu by clicking on Terminal and then New Terminal. In the terminal, type .NET run to compile and execute your Visual Basic program. This process compiles the BOVB files and runs the resulting application right within Visual Studio Code. And that's pretty much it. You're all set to develop in Visual Basic using Visual Studio Code. If this video helped you, please hit that like button and subscribe for more programming tutorials. Enjoy coding in Visual Basic and see you in the next video.